In our report, we compare our program spending forecast against the government spending plan in the 2022 fall economic statement, and we find that the government has $12.5 billion in excess funds over three years. Ontario's financial watchdog finds the Ford government is underspending on health care and education. For health care, it's $5 billion underfunded over five years. That's a billion for education. However, the FAO finds the government could make good on those shortfalls down the road by using a very large unallocated contingency fund on its books, which the FAO indicated is in the neighborhood of $19 billion. It's something Financial Accountability Officer Peter Weltman took aim at the government over. The reason I have a problem with that is because when the Legislative Assembly approves a spending plan, it has a certain amount of visibility into where that money is going to go. But if a whole bunch of money is sitting in an unallocated fund, the Assembly has absolutely no idea where that money is going to go and they won't find out about it until they read one of our expenditure monitor reports. He says the deficit will be about $2.5 billion this year, much smaller than the government's projection of $12.9 billion. For City News, I'm Richard Southern.